Hi guys, my name is Tomcat and welcome back to a brand new video in Spin Tires Mudrunner Hardcore Mode on the map Downhill. Now, if you joined us in the last video, you'll remember that we unlocked almost all of, oh god, we unlocked almost all of the watch points. We have two more to do that are right down the road. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the parking brake off. And we're going to go ahead and set off. Now, what I will say is if you missed the last episode and you've never played in hardcore mode before, basically what that means is it means a few different things. One, it means that damage is a lot more substantial. Like when you do get damage, it's, it has a much more substantial effect on your health. And not only that. But the vehicles will actually handle a little bit more dramatically. So, for example, if you're positioned on a hill and you're leaned over like this, your wheels will not just slightly pull to that side, they will violently pull to that side. And another thing that will happen is you cannot use diff lock in automatic mode. Now, with that being said, no diff lock in automatic mode is actually just, it's kind of an interesting thing because... It forces you to put the vehicle into, like, say, low one, two, three, uh, or even high if you want to use high with the diff lock. But the other problem with that is if you go over a certain speed with the diff lock on, it will damage your axles. So, basically, there's a whole bunch of things you can do that'll damage your axles. Like, if you go on pavement with your diffs locked, you'll damage your axles. If you go over a certain speed with your diffs locked, you will damage your axles. This mode is very, very centered on the fact that you can damage the hell out of your axles. So let's go back to, oops, I'm going to say let's go back to third person view, not let's go back to the map, but let's go back to third person view. Um, I still have some repair points left over that we can use which is probably a really good thing because I feel like we're definitely not out of the woods yet and we might need them. But let's stay a little bit further to the right and where are we looking now? Because I'm thinking about going... Yeah, let's go left and grab the watch point that's over there by that lumber mill because what I want to do in this episode is primarily finish off the watch points but also at least set off towards a garage with a uh, garage trailer. I don't know if we're actually going to make it to one, but I would at least start to I would at least like to start heading that direction. So, let's get a winch cable going. Come on. There you go. Sometimes, especially in hardcore, you need that winch because hardcore mode, I mean it really is very non-forgiving. And to be honest, like if you're used to playing on normal, you'll you'll have some things that you'll go, wait a minute, what do you mean I can't do that? You know what I mean? Like, you'll have some things that you're used to from normal mode that you're like, of course I can do that. And then you go into hardcore and it's like, no, no, you can't do that. And you're like, you kidding me? Of course I could do that. And it's like, no, no, you, you, you can't. That's not, that's not allowable right now. Not a thing. Uh oh. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh my god! That was weird! That log held us kind of just in place. So let's see... Alright, so we got a B6A up here, which is a... Oh! We've got a refueler! Okay, that's awesome! Yeah, that is... that is legit! You know... I always forget that they, that like, there's, they added new things to the base maps as well, and not just, see, that's the thing, there's new things on the base maps too, it's not just new things on, like, the American Wilds map, so that's really, really cool. So, with that being said and discovered, uh, we need to unlock this last watch point right here, which I have a feeling is going to be a little on the trickier side, and I'm not sure why I think that, I just feel like it's, Ah, let's, rec well, would recovering that make any difference? That's my question. Um, hmm. See, I don't know if it would make a difference or not. The only way, well, I mean, there's only one way to find out. And that's to recall that to our location. So, first thing that I want to do is let's see let's get our vehicles swapped over real quick and we can refuel that little uaz because it does need it 
Well, it doesn't necessarily need it, but it's nice to have it. It's very nice to have it indeed. So let's get that parking brake turned off. And we will set off for that water crossing that I'm hoping is doable for this little guy. Because really, I mean, it's a good little, it's a good little rig. But there are things that will stand in its way. And I don't just mean, like, you know, little things. Like, there are big things that will stand in this thing's way. And, you know, you may think it's a really stout rig. And for what it is, it is a really stout rig. But... It's also not quite as stout as you might want it to be, if that makes sense. I don't think... I don't know. I don't think that's the... Oh, God. That's not what I wanted. I was going to say, I don't think that's the right way to describe it. I more think the, like, the way that I'm trying to describe what I'm trying to get at here is basically this thing is good, but it's not some... It's not some, you know, hyper-capable vehicle. There's no such thing as a hyper-capable vehicle when you're in hardcore mode in Mudrunner. And especially when night falls. Oh my god, dude. When the night... When the night starts... It's, dude. Stuff gets real. Stuff gets real, and it gets real really fast when night falls in this game. And, well, when you're in, when you're in hardcore mode... And I don't even like nighttime in this game anyway... Like, I don't, I don't like playing it at night in normal mode. And night is about to fall on us in hardcore. So, this is going to be an adventure. And it's going to be an adventure we won't soon forget. Because I, for one, have no idea where this is going to take us. No idea. But let's get through these shrubs first. We're going to need our lights. That's the other thing, too, is you need to actually treat it like you're driving at night. Which is a little frightening, considering the fact that we're, like, out in the middle of nowhere in, like, Russia or something. Come on. Where's my water crossing? Is, is it over there? Oh, please don't tell me that's it. Okay, no, it's further downstream. I was hoping it was further downstream, because I did not want to screw around with that. Like, that is a gnarly, gnarly river, and it's a gnarly embankment, too. And I don't want to be... I don't want to be the guy that flips his rig over on his second, oh, his second episode of his hardcore playthrough. Uh, nope. Come on. This thing just acts like it's going to go over that edge all the time. All the time. Oh, come on. Get yourself off that tree. Get yourself... Whoa! To the right. Back left, maybe? A little bit of tree hitting going on, but I'm not worried about it. Not worried about it. Uh-oh. I'm starting to think that we might not have the, uh... We might not have the room. Oh, wait. Yes, we do! Yes, we do! The little UAZ! God! Fits through anything! Alright, now here we have our water crossing. And I'm a little... I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little terrified be right now. Because considering the fact that I'm trying to do this realistically and in hardcore mode... Whew, I don't know what we're going to run into by doing this, but... It could go well. It could go terrible. It's time to find out. Oh my god. Oh, this is scary. This is so scary. Oh my god. Is there nowhere to pull cable from? Is there nowhere to pull cable? Are you serious? Yes, thank you. Holy crap. Don't flip it. Oh, we're gonna... That's bad. Oh, that's real bad. Okay. Our scout vehicle is gone. And I do mean gone. We have one watch point left. And I'm trying to get a second garage open. Oh, this just turned into a very interesting ordeal. Alright, so I want... 
to get this guy down to the garage just because I'm not interested in messing around with that you know, with that UAZ for much longer. I not necessarily like messing around with it in terms of like I not not in terms of not wanting to drive it, but in terms of I don't want any other vehicles to wind up in that position. Put it that way. We're a little bit above half a tank in this in this truck. And once we get this thing whoa, 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 whoa. Stay on the road, please. Stay on road, Sammy. Sammy, stay on road, Sammy. We got some windy, twisty stuff coming. Let's just be real careful. Which is what I'm doing. Alright. Try to turn wide. Wide-ish, anyway. Oh god, I did not turn as wide as I thought I did. Easy does it. Block post is open. Thank you. Can I get through here with without... Yes. Without coming in, out of... Uh-oh. Well, shifted all the way back down. But I did it without coming out of four-wheel drive. Well, going into four-wheel drive, actually. I'm gonna need it going up this hill. Because this hill... This hill is a mud fest. It's always been a mud fest of a hill. So... Need light throttle. Don't necessarily need diff lock, but I do need some light throttle to make this thing work. Come on, easy does it. Easy does it. You can see how that one wheel right there is definitely spinning faster than the one on the other side. But it's not by enough to where it's just pure slip. Uh, like, like, to where it's just pure, like, wheel slip. You know what I mean? I... You know what? I really would love to enable, like, manual paddle shifters with this. I don't even know, like, if I pull the paddle, what happens? Nothing. Eh, eh, because I'm not, like, I haven't assigned them to anything. I don't know why I thought they would do something. But let's get down there and unlock that garage. Because that will be a big step forward for our progression of this map. The only thing is, we still have one more watch point to unlock. And we have a... A completely screwed UAZ now so that's comforting I'm just really hoping to get that thing out sometime soon because I don't want my scout vehicle down on a map like this and especially when you have a watch point still to unlock the scout vehicle is a very 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 important member of your team it really is if you get rid of your scout vehicle or your scout vehicle just basically like is out of commission you're in an awkward place because you don't want to take any of your big vehicles you know your logging trucks out to go exploring for the risk of getting them stuck or damaged in hardcore mode because you can't recover them but at the same time you need to know where you're going and you need to have that little scout there as support if you so need it because they can carry things like repair points and stuff like that that they pick up from garages. But let's go ahead and unlock this garage now because this will be a big step forward for us. Big step forward. Unload. Garage unlocked. All right, so now... This truck can be re-outfitted into something else. And I'm thinking this is what we're going to perform the rescue of the other truck. Or, well, of the UAZ with. Now, hmm. When I say perform the rescue of the UAZ, that's a bunch of mods. <laughs> that is a bunch of mods. I'm trying to figure what mod trailer you to. Oh, yeah, well, I wish I could use that. I genuinely wish I could use that. Garage parts. Oh, it won't let us use that. Oh, we got to get rid of the trailer hitch. I was like, why is nothing working? I was like, seriously, though, like nothing here is working. All right, let's get rid of all of that. And then utility attachment. Yeah, that's what we're going to run. And then spare wheel. And probably a fuel trailer. I don't know about it. I mean, I think our best bet is going to be to run this setup right here to gear up to actually rescue the UAZ, which is still 
sitting down here in the river because what we could do is we can drag it out and then not only can we drag it out with this truck but we can also repair it get it back on its feet and and get it down to that other watch point to uh to unlock it so if you guys enjoyed this episode of spin tires mud runner in hardcore mode make sure to leave me a like tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe for more and i will see you all next time talk to you guys later